Let's give the last stand another go. This time, we've got Maggie. Got a chance of getting uh, action points back every time we attack a non-normal walker. There's lots and lots, of course, of non-normal walkers here. She's got the, uh, the good old Savior's handgun. Rick, that classic Sea Stormer, or maybe we mix it up a bit. It's essentially the same weapon anyway. We'll go with the, uh, the combat teacup. And then Shane, his old buddy, is coming back with the old blaze guard. We're looking to explode some heads. Uh, it's got an area of effect as well. I think this is uh this should be a fun, this should be an interesting, fun little team. Last run that I did, I had Shane. I think it was it was the same team, but we had Shane as lead, and it was just we didn't quite get the results that we wanted. It wasn't it wasn't a, a great result. So here we are looking to do a little bit better. Got to remember that everybody has got this skill as well. I think, I mean, I mean, I think that because we're we got some weapons with blasts here. I think that striking a non-normal walker counts. I don't think you have to outright kill. Uh, you, I don't think you have to target the non-normal walker. I think as long as the non-normal walker is getting hit, there's a chance for keeping the piece to kick in. Uh, I'm not sure though, so we we'll just have to just have to see how it works out. Try and get the kill with Rick. We want to get his inspiration charged up. Oh, it's it's pretty much charged up anyway. <sighs> this is exactly what I did not want to happen. Okay, so Rick doesn't have the tactical armor. That's that's good to know. No charge points for Shane, of course. The blaze guard doesn't get him. But we can always have uh, keeping the piece activated. And that just kind of confirms that, yes, as long as you are striking a non-normal walker, there's a chance of kicking in. The non-normal walker doesn't actually have to be the target of the attack. Boom. Let's get down here, ready for these reinforcements to come in. Okay, pretty good place for them to be. God, the damage on that blaze guard, it's it's pretty crazy. And every time that Maggie can move, it doesn't necessarily mean that keeping the piece is kicking in. She has tactical on her armor, so that's why she's sometimes striking these guys and can still move. Mm, yeah, get a charge point, Maggie. This guy is closing in on us, but I think we should be able to just finish him off. Especially if we're lucky with keeping the piece, if that kicks in a couple of times. Maggie, do you want to kill this guy? You do with the double tap. Brilliant. Okay, okay, okay. So we are looking at igniting targets. Keeping the piece kicks in so we can get that guy as well, but not in a way that keeps us safe. Oh. Want to get cooking good looking? Yep. Great. Got a chance to hit multiple targets. Let's take that. Okay, and those big, bad, scary walkers are closing in, but we've we've got them on fire. Um, we cripple all of these guys, maybe even kill them. Boom! Excellent. Uh, 
Ah, uh, now. Is tactical going to let me move again? I'm taking a gamble. Yes, it does. Okay, it's handy to know that that's how it works. So we actually made two attacks. Um, but because we hadn't moved before we made the first attack, tactical still kicked in, giving us that, that half an action point of movement. Pretty nice to know that that's how it works. Learning a little bit about some very important skills here. Attack with uh, Shane, get the exploding bullets going. Boom, finish that guy off. Nice. I get the feeling that there's some more walkers that we can't see somewhere on the screen. I'm pretty sure of it. Pretty sure they're hanging around. There he is. He's on fire. Uh, we're not going to worry about him too much. Definitely want to make sure that these guys are history. Superb. Well done, Shane. Yeah, really having a lot of fun here with Maggie as the leader. Kind of feels like keeping the pieces kicking in when we need it. We've got enough firepower, we've got enough literal firepower, because we're setting big, bad, scary things alight. Apologies, there might be a slight editing issue there, it's just because we've had uh, some recording problems, I actually ran out of space on the tablet. Doesn't tend to happen if I'm using my phone, but uh, using the tablet, so hopefully I can stitch this together. I would say seamlessly, but there's there's probably going to be some seams. But let's continue with this. I think I think we're just kind of getting into the groove of this particular last stand. Okay, 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 okay. We we'll do this. Good, okay, okay, okay. Do we need to use a charge point? I don't think we do just yet. Would have liked to have got a, a, a tab on that guy as well. God damn, the blaze guard just absolutely kills the crap out of stuff. Rick, do you fancy getting a charge point back? You do. You fancy getting two? Even better. Of course, that's a condition of his leadership trait. Let's hit these guys up with some exploding bullets. Good, the exploding bullets do what exploding bullets do. Hitch again. Oof, didn't even mean to kill him. I just, yeah, I really didn't mean to kill him, <laughs> frankly. Uh, I was going to get some charge points for uh, for Maggie, but there was no body left. Okay, Maggie, do you want to get some charge points? You don't? How about now? Okay, yeah, fine. Okay, there you go. Where the bad guy's coming in from right behind us, that's not really great, is it? Let's let's weaken these guys and then let's see if we can get another strike with Shane. See, I was hoping to explode that uh, speedy walker. That would have been a very nice thing to have happened. This is a this is a bit of a headache as far as bad guy placement goes. Uh, what do we need to do? No, I don't think we need to use a charge point, actually. Because we can do that. Now, there's every chance that keeping the peace was going to kick in, but we needed to cripple both of those guys in order for Maggie to be safe. We can't guarantee that keeping the peace is going to 
kick in. So I, I think that that was an okay use of Michonne's cat to give ourselves a charge point. What about that little speedy there? We might be able to hit him with Maggie. Yes, good. We get charge point back. Get him cooking as well. Okay, so slightly dicey situation. Suddenly kind of looks okay. Not great, but okay. Nice big charge attack there. We move there. Shane goes there. There's somebody hiding behind that tree. They just got taken out by the exploding bullets. That's why I specifically wanted to use Shane for that. Ooh, tempting. Do you take a bit of a gamble? Weaken with Rick. Kill with Shane. Get both of them out of the way. Excellent, 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 excellent. Shane, do you fancy getting all of these guys cooking? You don't. Let's get these guys slowed down. Maybe we can kill this guy with Shane and get some heads exploding. You guys, cool your heels and slow down. Okay, it would have been nice to have had an additional shot. I guess we can do that here. Shane. Excellent. Even better. Leftover shot gets those guys cooking. We're going to have bad guys popping up behind us, so where do we want to clear? I mean, because we could get these guys, but there's they're not an imminent threat, not really. Um, he's got to be crippled, you see. I like the idea of weakening him and then doing this. Good. I put Maggie here. He can. No, he can't because I can do this. I can do this to slow him down. Can we get a charge point? No, we can't. I, th I think that was still worth doing. It was a bit of a long shot, but it was, it was worth a try at least. Damn it. You can see what I was going for. I needed some exploding bullets to work there. They didn't. Um, he's a threat. He's a threat. He's a threat. He's a threat. Surrounded by people who want to kill us. Well, I say people. I mean, that gets rid of those guys. Maybe we can stun him. No. Is Shane okay? Oof, just. Let's get some exploding heads in on the action. Slow those guys down. Maggie, get this guy cooking and cripple him. I mean, we could really do with some nice, tasty charge points. That's what we could really be doing with right now. Um, hang on, lads. I've got an idea. Shane. Excellent. Well done. You've got to be stunned or slowed or something. I'm tempted to get a charge point by killing this guy, but then this guy is potentially within range. I think I'm going to play it a little bit safe. 
Gonna cripple this guy so he can't definitely get to us. Okay. Things just kind of suck, basically. Um, really need keeping the peace to kick in. It does. Nasty. That wasn't devastating flipping alpha strike that I needed it to be. That was better, but we're still a bit of a sucky situation, really. Oh, yeah, I didn't really want to do that, but what choice do we have? We're leaving with throwing Rick to the wolves. Oh, Shane starts getting chewed upon as well. Kind of gambling on stunning this guy or something. Or something, I guess, worked. Okay, yeah, that was a bit of a risk. Uh, no. I think we might be just at the end of our rope here. Wave 20, that's, that's fairly respectable, I guess. Yeah, poor old Rick gets left to his fate. I don't think Maggie's going to survive this. I think that that's, that's where we are. Wave 20, 83k points. It's okay. It's an alright result. It was a lot of fun, actually. A lot of fun using... Uh, Hilltop Maggie is the leader. We did have a really bad run, but that didn't record properly anyway. So might do might do another one of these. Since it's Carol's Cookies that's up for grabs, it'd be nice to get, you know, a really good result with, with one of these. But there you go. That's, that's the last stand for now. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you on the next one.